Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nate from Adams Entertainment Network. It's been a minute since I've talked to you guys. This is in connection with uh, recording gameplay and streaming and whatnot. There's a lot of options out there and this video goes into in-depth detail of what I found to be the easiest process. Stick around, watch it. Today's video is going to be focused on how to maximize the Elgato HD60S and how to, how to use it in general. I am a new user when it comes to recording gameplay and when it comes to uh, streaming. Yeah, I'm new. It's been a fun challenge. Early on, I, I tried to utilize the Elgato HD60S game capture device by itself. I looked on their website and they shared all the interesting things that the Elgato could do on its own standalone. So I tried it. Well, I ran into a lot of audio issues. I couldn't use my, my voice meter here. There's a few videos where I talk about the issues that I was having. So I was just running into problem after problem. And then I contacted Elgato and they said, why don't you try downloading a software that helps with the recording? Two things I did, I deleted the game capture audio option because that was just messing up my voice meter. So I, uninstalled that and I found the magic of OBS Studio. It's really intuitive, very easy to use. Just go here, download it, and let's see here, I'll go through here. Settings, uh, with the new OBS Studio, it's intuitive, it's vastly upgraded from the, the last one. I'm gonna run through the settings that I use that helps me uh, maximize all of my efforts whenever I'm streaming or recording for YouTube like I am now. So my stream, you'll be using uh, Twitch. Uh, you'll select your best server and it'll provide you a stream key. You wanna keep this hidden, you don't wanna show anyone. You'll enter that and then apply. The streaming setting here, I read that 3000 is like perfect for what everyone's trying to accomplish. You get about 720p uh, recording at 1080p is a little more taxing on your system. So 720 is what you should be shooting for. So my encoder is set to the software 264 and my audio bit rate is 160. I set the encoder preset to ultra fast because my system is set up and ready for this kind of taxing. If you have a very entry level PC, you wanna go a little lower. You, uh, If you're really trying to make good high quality content, upgrade your PC, and you can uh, do a little bit more with a uh, better CPU, water cooling, air cooling, whatever. So you just don't wanna overheat your computer. You wanna set your recording path. Recording takes up quite a bit of storage, so I have, it, I have this going to my two terabyte hard drive. Uh, I generate file name with no spaces. I do high quality to medium file size. Select, this is a public service announcement, select mp4 if you do not you're going to record your first game you're going to get some cool kills you're going to get some really cool gameplay and then you're going to try to play and you recorded it in a format that can't be seen click recording format down to mp4 so it generates your video i ran into that two times i'm a newbie i don't claim to be a pro i'm new at the recording but that's uh don't forget that step best part there encoder is set to the software 264. And if you use these settings, you, you'll see this here. You'll see this warning message. If you're recording, don't stream at the same time. You can stream and then download the stream and edit it from there. So uh, unless you got the system to uh, record and stream, go ahead. So audio, it's pretty self-explanatory. The sample rate, I just left it there. My desktop audio device is voice meter. I have a auxiliary voice meter. I run everything through voice meter. Video, self-explanatory, common uh, frames per second, 30. Hotkeys, I can start streaming, stop streaming. I can start recording, stop recording, and I can switch my scenes. Advanced, don't really want to touch advanced, so that about wraps it up with the settings. I wanted this to be a really quick hit tutorial on how to maximize your game recording and streaming. I went through about a month and a half of hell trying to understand why the Elgato was lagging. I mean, using the Elgato directly to record my games, I was lagging and lagging. I was almost not able to get any kills because it was lagging so bad. The OBS Studio, all issues have been fixed. 
the recording is simple. I don't have any issues. So here's the website. It's obsproject.com. You just download and you have a go at it. In a nutshell, OBS Studio is godlike. It is amazing. If you're looking to beast it and not have to worry about your recording and have a thousand things on your mind at the same time, OBS Studio is the one to use. The updates work perfectly. It doesn't jack up my settings or anything. All right, guys, that's it. That's all we got for today. So quick tutorial. If you still have questions that I missed, go below and ask it. I will reply. Before you bounce out of here, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, look in the description, go follow me on Twitter. Thank you for tuning in today, and I hope this helped. Stay classy, play hard, and I will see you next time. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's your good. I can do that. And I think that's a wrap, guys. I think recording is done.